It's amazing the debris that accumulates. It's a walking tour Governor Inslee acknowledges is terrible. Man, it's everything, isn't it? Crews are spending another day digging into this site in West Seattle, where a homeless encampment took over. How many vehicles are in here, do you think? More than 60 vehicles were parked in this place, cars and RVs. It looks like you had several fires here, too. What the governor is seeing today has been a source of frustration for residents, some who wonder if clearing out this trash will make a difference. It'll come back, and if it doesn't, it'll just move to somewhere else. Nicole Alexander Alexander is seeing progress. The population that was actually living within the site was about 35 folks. She's with Co-Lead, a group that does outreach, and says out of the 35 people who were here, 30 were placed inside. Unacceptable. There's no sanitation, no running water. Now picking up what was left behind is the tall task. Not a very good scene for the city of Seattle. People want to ignore it. The city council ignores it. They just throw money at it. More money is what the governor says is necessary. This work is not free. Building tiny home villages is not free. Building permanent apartments is not free. And he calls sites like this unacceptable. This is an issue that you can't nickel and dime. Baby steps won't cut it. The legislature cannot just do half measures this year. We need to step up to the plate. And that means billions of dollars. The governor says while this site is closer to being clean, on state property, there's roughly 2,000 more encampment cleanups to go. And I am told that it took several weeks of intensive outreach to place the people who were staying here in shelter. Today, the governor said he's urging lawmakers to take action this year to address this issue, including the lack of available housing. Reporting live tonight in West Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.